Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to an extremely echoey video. I don't actually know how I'm gonna remove the echo from this. So apologies in advance if this is just ridiculous. I'm not in my shop, I'm not at home. I'm actually in the foyer of where I work, where the shop is. Can't really record this in the shop and of course I'm not at home. So we're doing this here today. I know it's a bit weird, but if we can just try and put up with it, this will probably be the only video that I do here. So as promised, today I'm going to be planting up this terrarium that I mentioned in my last plant haul video. I have bought a collection of jewel orchids that I'm going to go through and basically this terrarium has been bought for my dad's, well it's for Father's Day actually. We're long overdue on Father's Day but I'm actually traveling to see my dad for the first time in quite a while since Covid hit tomorrow. So it is Friday the 3rd and I'm literally planning this up the night before I have to take it. It's also my first time working with jewel orchids so I hope I've got the substrate right. Again I'll go into that. So I'll take you through kind of what I've got. The first thing I've got, and I don't think I've mentioned this on the channel, but I bought this recently. I think I got it from Amazon, but you can get it in other places. It's like this really nice glass dome terrarium. It's closed. It's got this nice cork lid. It's not an airtight lid. It just kind of rests on the top. The cool thing about it is I have the box here. It's made from, is it 100% recycled glass? I think it's made in conjunction with the Eden project. So it's a cute little terrarium I bought. It's not cheap. I'm not gonna lie, I believe, I've bought two of these actually, fun fact. I panicked last minute and I thought that my orchids might not fit, so I bought a bigger one. I think this one may have been 30 odd Great British Pounds. I think the bigger one I bought was around about 50 Great British Pounds, but I can attest to the quality. It is a really nice terrarium. It's nice and minimal. I couldn't really find anything that was closed. And I really wanted a closed terrarium for my dad because I thought that would be the best option for him. So, what else have I got? I have a piece of wood that I bought from my local aquarium to go into it. And I can show you straight away that it does fit. I think I'm gonna have to remove one or two little edges of the wood, but generally this fits quite well. I thought it'd be too small, but it isn't. Hang on, let me get in there. So I believe I'm going to have it sit a little bit like that. That might be the front, or I could do it this way around like that. I haven't planned this, if you can't already tell, but that's the terrarium. So. A little bit about the orchids. So I've got some different jewel orchids here and some of them I bought off a Facebook auction. The rest of them I think are all from Orchids NL, which I'll get into in a minute, but I think we'll go through the auction ones first. This is the one that I hauled on the channel last week. This is Makode's Batola. This is like a very classic jewel orchid. So that's going somewhere in the orb. This, I've mentioned this before again, but this is the orchid that made me want to get my dad some jewel orchids for a terrarium. This is Makode's Sandariana. It's really, really pretty. This was an unknown one that I also bought from an auction. I've had people on that video tell me that this might be either Dossina Mamorata or Makode's Laoiai. It can't be Makode's is Laoiai because I have one right here. So I don't know if that means that this orchid here is Dossina Mamorata. I don't know. But if I show you that and I show you this one, which is Makode's Laoiai, that's that one there. So from now on, these orchids are all from Orchids NL. So we have this one. We have this one, which I can't remember the name of. I'm just going to put it up on the screen because I'm not going to go through my phone and find out. It'll probably take forever. So I have this one here as well and of this amazing one that I've actually gone and bought a second one of because I liked it so much. I wanted to start a little orchid terrarium for myself. So you might see me planting up another one. But I bought this one here as well off their website and it's so pretty. It's like a really pretty burgundy color. And I thought that with all of this green, this might throw it off a little bit and bring some red in. I did order another red toned jewel orchid. I will get to that in a minute. That hasn't arrived. Very upset about that. This is, oh, I can't remember what this one is. Really, really nice. It's definitely one of the two, you know, larger orchids that I've got. I'll probably place these in the back because I feel like instead of making the terrarium kind of one all round thing, I'm probably going to build and build up some height at the back, but we'll see how it goes. Then I have this. Right. So before I explain what this is, again, I'll have to put the name on the screen. So you guys suggested to me to order from orchids.nl. And I did, and I placed one order first, which was this order here. And by that point, I had these orchids that you see on this side. So I had all of these, but I thought, you know what? I don't think that's necessarily enough. And I, looking at it now, it's definitely not. So a representative from Orchids NL got in touch with me on Facebook and basically said, yo, what is it that you're looking for? And I basically said, look, I'm new to jewel orchids. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something pretty. So this amazing representative 
went and found me three jewel orchids here that they had and they sent them to me. I did pay for them, but they managed to find some on really short notice and send some to me. So I thought that was really, really awesome. Not only that, but when I opened the package, they sent me this beautiful little orchid here as a gift. I don't know if I can show it to the camera because I'm absolutely miles away, but I just thought that was just the sweetest little thing. And they didn't have to send me that, but they did. So thank you very much, Orchids NL, for sending me those. Thank you generally for your help in finding all these things for me. It's been a big, big help. So the last thing before we get started, I mentioned before that this is one of the jewel orchids that is a little bit more, you know, burgundy in tone. So I did get another one from the other orchid place that was mentioned. I think it's, is it orchidsshop.com? I bought that the same night that I bought this one. This one from Orchids NL arrived on Tuesday and the other one from the other shop hasn't even arrived. I think it's been shipped, I don't know. And that's over a week. So a little bit disappointed that I can't plant that. I imagine that I'll probably have to send that separately, you know, to my mum and dad and maybe they can plant it. I don't know if it turns up. I don't even know this point, but that is what we're working with today. So I've kind of got a plan on how I want to tackle this terrarium, but for now I'll talk very quickly about the substrate. So I don't know if this is the right thing and I'm not going to know until whenever I put this video out because it's sure as shit not going out next week. I have orchid bark, but it's very fine orchid bark. I couldn't find anything chunky. I have some perlite in here. I have some sphagnum moss. I have a tiny bit of coir and I have a tiny bit of worm castings. And that's kind of about it. Like it's not a soil mixture. It's really, really chunky, but it's a fine chunk, if that makes any sense. So it should be okay. I don't really know. I'm probably gonna have to spray the substrate when it's in. Around the edge, because I was thinking about this, what I'm gonna do is I have here some moss. I don't, I'm just gonna line the edges with moss so that you can't see any of the perlite in the mix, because personally, I think that looks a bit gross. But if I just put like a one inch border of moss around the terrarium, I feel like you won't see it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I think I'll start with doing that. I might put some pure orchid bark along the bottom for drainage because I don't actually have any pebbles and I may have screwed up on that. So this is by no means an instructional video. I'm largely gonna wing this, but I think the first thing I'm gonna do is the thing that I mentioned before, which is I'm gonna line the edges of this with a little bit of moss to basically hide the perlite in the substrate. This is very much an experimentation on my part. So I'm kind of gonna do that around the terrarium. So it's not much moss, but it's enough just to detract from within, I suppose. Oh, this is nasty. I don't know why anyone would want to use this. I think it's for terrariums if you've got reptiles, but it's not very nice. I don't know why I've used this a second time. I think my brain just went, oh, okay, need moss. Bought the first hit for moss on Amazon. I, I think I would have learned the first time, but I don't think I have. Right, obviously I've made a huge mess, obviously. So the next thing we do is I'm gonna put some pure orchid bark in the bottom to try and give it a bit of drainage. I don't know if it's gonna work because orchid bark will maintain some moisture and it's not super chunky, but it's kind of all I've got. So I'm just gonna grab some out of the bag, hopefully not make a huge mess and put it in the bottom of the terrarium. Not tons, just enough to kind of put a barrier between the glass. Oh dear, and the substrate. By the way, dude, 100% gonna have to hoover. Dude, can't do that. Dude, they'll know it's me, they'll check the security cameras. They will know it's me. They'll see me. Fucking around with orchid bark. Does this look shit? It was actually quite nice, huh? Yeah. yeah. I have Ben off camera if I've decided to include this. And Ben's uh, basically just cheering me on if it looks shit. It looks okay. It looks a bit like a nest. Yeah. Mm, we'll see. Right. My knees hurt a lot. So I think now it might be time to cut this little piece of wood and hopefully this isn't going to go flying, but... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right. That'll do. Right, so I think I'm gonna use this as the front because this is the most ornamental. I'll see if I need to build up the back with substrate, but I think I would rather build it with substrate than the bottom bit. Oh no, get in there. Oh, you know what? That's kind of sickening as well. Check that out, dude. That's kind of nice too. It's kind of nicer than, or does it look better like that? Mm. The other way, that looks a bit like a giraffe. It looks like a giraffe. Yeah, from this angle. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> right, so you're saying that is what you're saying. Yeah, it looks better than that. Yeah? Not like a giraffe. Right, okay. Shit. Well, okay. <laughs> what can you what can you do? Maybe once you plant it, the, the plants are very gently like you know? Yeah, okay, well shit. 
So I need to put like a centerpiece plant there then, don't I really? Oh, I probably, I didn't mention this on camera before. I'm not going to plant this up. I'm totally saving this for me. I just brought this to show you guys. So if you see me not plant this up, I have no intention of putting this in here. This is too pretty. I put it in the bio if I didn't think that it might die. I don't know how tall these things grow, so I need to check. I'm going to unplant these and just pour the moss into here. This is going to get moved 10 million times. I already know this. I don't know if I should raise that up. I think I'm going to have to put some substrate in and then raise it up. Because I think if I try and take this bit of wood out, it's not going to go back in if I keep putting loads of shit in it. So let's put some substrate in. Because I still want to see the pieces of wood and this is the hard part. I don't want them buried because that's part of the cool part to have them there. I'd love to be good at escaping things, but I, I don't think it's my calling. I'm going to be honest. So the two natural front runners for me for the front are going to be these two jewel orchids here. I think I'm going to keep a little bit of moss around them just to reduce the shock of going from moss into this so they don't just dry out and freak out. So we'll see. Ooh, I don't know. I apologize if you can't see the front of the orb, by the way, because oh, the orb. I <laughs> can't see the orb, kind of, that's triggering. I apologize if you can't see the front of the terrarium, by the way. It's kind of just probably how it has to be because I need to plant it front facing so I can make it look sexy. It's not as easy as, as one would think. Because it's not easy to separate the substrate and put an orchid in. It's not really that kind of vibe. I've got a bit of perlite and then I want it out. Get out. Please get out. Please get out. I barely get my hands in. No. <laughs> That's your answer, dude. Oh, you look like you're stressed. Do you want chocolate bar? I just want this to look good. Is it possible to rage quit when you uh, <laughs> when you plan shit up? Because I'm, I'm really feeling it, dude. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not been a good day. Right, I can't get this fucking orchid in. It's not a big great present. What? Just yeah what i should have done was gone hi dad yeah got all these great things enjoy your afternoon i'm gonna go away now i'll come back in three days <laughs> i don't know how people do this how do people escape these things i don't i don't get it right they make it look so easy so easy it ain't I'll tell you that now someone should make for these terrariums like a little funnel that you put your substrate in and you can kind of funnel it down around your plants so you don't get crap all over your plants. <sighs> I think that'd be a really good invention if it doesn't already exist. You get all that fancy aquascaping, you know, tweezers and things. There must be something for scaping little gardens. There has to be some mad Japanese stuff that just does this. And I probably should have bought it because now I see how big blue fingers don't really help the situation at all.
Okay, so it is approximately maybe an hour and a half later than when I started this video. This was honestly like 10 out of 10 difficulty to get this planted. I think a combination of the fact that this is so small and I don't have a lot of surface area to work with. So a combination of that and the fact that these dual orchids are so small and so fragile, it's actually really, really, really difficult to plant it in this scenario by the fact they have to really squish things in. I did kind of put things places, then I moved them, then I thought they were planted too low, then I tried to lift them up and then they, they were too wobbly and I've had to put them back down. So I've tried my best with what is here. I also figured that although I was initially planning on starting off just lining everything with moss because I bought like a whole big, you know, tray of moss, I haven't done that. And I honestly think that the bark makes the green orchids look greener. And I think because the orchids aren't super green with the expect you know, the exception of this one. It's probably for the best, I think, that I've done that. But generally that's it. There are some gaps and I kind of wanted to leave it that way. I like the wood, but I soon found that all the, you know, the, the ends of the wood weren't going to be seen among the bark. So I've had to try and raise the wood up on a ridiculous amount of bark to see if it'll work. It does have some perlite around here and I may try and just pop some orchid bark along the edge. But apart from that, I'm reasonably happy. Let me know what you think of this, if there's anything maybe I could have done better because I do want to scape another terrarium up similar to this, possibly the bigger version for myself. So let me know what you think in the comments below about this scape and I guess wish me luck in transit tomorrow because I have to take this by hand to my dad. So wish me luck, I guess. That is it for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Apologies again for the echo. Apologies for the space that I'm in. This is not ideal. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't want to not film this. I thought you guys might want to see this. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Probably not here. Bye guys.